Now, even though a candidate for sainthood is no longer living, the road to becoming a saint is not an easy one. Plus, how you lived when you were alive is important. A saint is a person of extraordinary holiness. But what does it mean to be holy? Once the hierarchy of the diocese has deemed the person fit for sainthood, there's usually a five-year waiting period before the process gets started. But the Pope can waive that process at any time. Now, during that time, they go through stages of first becoming venerable and then blessed. And what some consider as the hard part starts next. How can it be that in this small country, such as Costa Rica, in this poor small neighborhood, this miracle took place? It's amazing. What happens next is two miracles must be attributed to the saint after their death. In Pope John Paul's case, a woman with a life-threatening tumor prayed to the memory of the former pope and her tumor disappeared. Now, his first miracle was back in 2006 when a French nun was reportedly healed of Parkinson's disease. I jumped up and I realized that I was not the same person. Now, with the Vatican statement today, all that's left is the canonization ceremony, which will officially make the former pope a saint.